Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both of these teams have identities built around their running game. Powerful offensive lines like Alabama in 2012 that just demoralize you over the course of the game. The importance of the will cannot be overemphasized in this matchup between these two teams that want to slug it out on the ground. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Family Football Stadium in Manhattan, Kansas. It's the venue today for what should be a great college football game. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Barron has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Hey, gets around three on that option keeper. He's under pressure. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. Ralph is waiting for the snap. Tackle made the 37-yard line. Denman's coming out for the first time home field. He loves the spotlight, and this crowd is amped right now, Kurt. Brad, we've seen over the years guys who have a chance to play at home, how they seem to play better. But this crowd's been anticipating this the entire week, and now it's right here before them. I tell you, I think he's having an effect not only on his own offense, but his own defense, and even this crowd. You talk about a difference maker. That's what this young man really is. And they got it. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you That'll definitely are going to feel it the next day. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 34. They'll bring him down to the 46-yard line. Frustrating for this defense. From midfield. First down. Heading for the corner. Nice run there as they work the outside. Steele gains about five yards on the run. That brings him 
second and five. First down. He got seven, but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more. Good call. First and ten. Ball on the 38. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. This is the eighth play of this drive. Nice run there. You admire their faith in the running game, but a pass might have been the better way to go. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. This is the tenth play of this drive. Gets rid of it quickly. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. And for Denman. That touchdown toss gives him the team's career record in that department. Here's just another notch in what's been an outstanding career. It's sort of hard to comprehend how good he's been for so long. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 65-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Kansas State gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 30. Kansas State's defense looks like it's ready to feed off this crowd all game long. It's like having an extra player out there. It sure is, Brad. They are off to a great start in that opening series. Let's see how they play here. Again, trying to just set the tone here early in this game on this next series. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. Quick throw, incomplete, Waterloo's receiver. There was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass. It's second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Alexander brings him down. Gets it to the back. He steps out at the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. We played one quarter. Kansas State leads it 7-0. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. 
makes it second and six. six. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. They're coming after this punter. He drops it. Looking for the corner. They'll bring him down at the nine. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Kansas State is up a score. He's taken down at the 17. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. Brought down around the 25-yard line. That makes it second and 10. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Gaining three yards. That'll bring up third and eight. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Check four, check four. Hey, check Mike 27, check Mike 27. He's on the run. He's at midfield, and he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. He showed pretty good ability to read the defense and see an opening. That is a very frustrating play for a defense, too, and it can be demoralizing. First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. Here we go, here we go. Tie right, tie right. Kansas State up seven points. Quick throw, and they make the stop at the 24. the 24-yard line. First down. Decent run here, right side. Steele picks up about seven yards on the run. The Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. It's the ninth play of the drive. Tries to get around the corner. The 10. He steps out of bounds, and now it's going to be first and goal. He gets another set of downs, and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Scrambling around. He's tackled at the one-yard line. Denman gets six yards after taking it himself. 
Wildcats are going to call their second timeout. Here's the 11th play of the drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of three yards on the play. That makes it 30 goal. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. Kansas State is up by a touchdown. And he's hit immediately. Kansas State is hoping to make this a two-score game. up and it is good Barron has his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off Johnson from the six gets to about the 27 yard line It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Rose completely stopped immediately. He ran a good-looking route and picked up positive yardage. That he did, and he made a good catch. That short passing game is where you see all those hours in the summer that you put in pay off. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 32. Just throws this one away. Strike to his receiver, no good. Boy, that hurts the offense to have to go three and out. They're going to have to think about how to get something going the next time they come out. Wallace is back deep to return the punt. He's to the 40. Breaks one. He showed a good burst there. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. Chucks it downfield. Incomplete. The intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 50. It's second down. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. 10-0, Kansas State. Welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 18. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. 
That brings up third and 14. Zips it to the back. Why in the world would the offense run around short of the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And down he goes at the 41. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled right away. That's a D-12 on the play. First down. Makes it to the 14. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Passes it to the middle of the field. Tackle made at the seven. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. to the six-yard line. He tackles him for a loss. So it's fourth down. This one should be makeable. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Texas Tech is lining up to kick this one off. He just drills this one. down at the 14 yard line texas tech's not going to back down from anybody Herbie. i guess at least not today no not today they played with a chip on their shoulder they've stood toe to toe with the big boys and i don't think they're finished yet their last drive resulted in a punt so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here kansas state is up seven here he goes Makes it to the 27. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. From their own 27-yard line, it's first down. They'll bring him down around the 30-yard line. seven-yard line that play was over before it got started that was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball here's 
a draw. That's a great tackle at the 37. Third and 11. Ball on their own 37. Nice run up the middle. And he didn't get enough for the first. Now, well, Brad, he's going to come up short here. The defense does a nice job of not allowing the ball carrier to get out into the open. Kansas State is up a score. Johnson takes it at the 23, and he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's at midfield. He's into the open field to the 20, and he's finally taken down at the 10. That's good for a game of 53 yards. Man, First down. Down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Game seven. That'll bring up second and three. Just outside the goal line. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. 10-3, Wildcats. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. score here early in the fourth quarter but they've got to get their heads back in it now we've got a tight football game and a long way to go here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up and he tacks on the extra point let's get the latest now from Reese Davis Texas State doing battle in San Mateo and for UTEP they're in trouble in danger of losing five straight Texas State on top three nothing we're tied at ten in this one Texas the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Wallace, to Wallace from the two makes it to the 22-yard line. Early in the fourth quarter, who's going to make a play? Which team's going to come out on top? We're in a tie game, and we're about to find out. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The quarterback kept it for himself and got the first down. I'll tell you what, you got to be a tough quarterback to run this kind of offense. He takes so many more hits and can really get banged around, even on a good day. Makes it to the 44. From their own 44-yard line, first down. He's taken down at the 46-yard line. Second 
There's a very impressive open field tackle. From the 42-yard line, first down. He's on the run, and he's tackled around the 31-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Less than three minutes in the game. Over the middle to his tailback. And they make the stop right around the 26-yard line. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 24-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 13. First and 10. Ball on the 13. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Here's the 12th play of the drive. The short yardage defense here. Touchdown, Wildcats. Looks like they didn't get the playoff quick enough. He splits the uprights with the extra point.
Kansas State is ready to kick it away. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Just under two minutes in the game. Knocked out of bounds at the 42. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Now he's scrambling. Runs with it, and he's got room. Scooped up by the defense. He's tackled at midfield. And it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop, and now you get the ball back with the lead. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive, and until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Steele gets seven yards on the play. The Red Raiders taking their first time out of the half. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Gets out to around the 32. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. Fights forward to about the 29. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball of the 29. A little over a minute in the game. Inside the 10. Touchdown, K-State.
Penalty markers down. They took too much time. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 50-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So our score, 24-10. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He got hit hard. Kansas State's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially in this game. Well, they've stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed into what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they run to the football. The last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. Under a minute left. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Throws it to the halfback, and he's got it again. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. He's at the 40. Tackle made the 39-yard line. Kill, kill. That makes it two. Black five, black five. Orange three, orange. He airs it out. And he's taken down at the three-yard line. That makes it first and goal. They're at the three. It's second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And down he goes, just outside the goal line. And he stops the clock with a spike. touchdown has put these guys right back into this game. 
He makes the PAT. They'll bring him down at the 50-yard line. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 24-17, Kansas State. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.